so students now we know that we divide our data into static and dynamic data sets and we have these tables so once we create that database and once we have the tables in that database we have to specify the type and the size of the field that field is just like a php variable so what we'll be covering in this module is the integer type the date slash time type and the string type so this is the coverage in this module so we cover the mysql data types numeric date time and string and the use of indexes okay and i will explain to you and you will also understand the benefit of indexing and using the keys what are the different and the critical keys which we will cover of course very briefly the details are there in the module textbook so the the numeric data types okay the, the in the numeric data types we have different types of numeric data we have the tiny integer we have the small integer we have the medium integer and so on now you can store in many ways so why not always use the big int or double the problem is that the bigger the data type the more storage space it takes up in the database the int field takes up four bytes whereas a small int the small int takes less okay the small int takes significantly less right so we have to capitalize on the space also now if you are storing millions of records right if when you have millions of records when you have millions of records these things make a big difference we have to be careful now you can add the attribute unsigned after a numeric data type when defining a field an unsigned data type can only hold the positive numbers okay it can only hold the positive numbers and for example tiny int can hold a maximum of 127 tiny int can hold a maximum of 127 all right and at the same time if you have unsigned then it can hold 255 so students you can see that depending upon the number is positive or negative the amount of space which is required to save that number is going to be different i hope you understand this so now we'll talk about the date and time data types now in the time and date data types we have some more interesting stuff over here so we have this uh, numbers you can choose from a range of different data types to store dates and times depending upon whether you want to store a date only a time only or both so this is over here whatever you can uh, you want to save okay when you need to specify a literal date date time or time stamp value in mysql you can use any of the following formats these are the different formats i believe everything is clear to you so it depends upon the requirements how you would like to save your data now string data types the string data types the difference between a char and var char over here and over here that char stores data as a fixed length string no matter how short the actual data may be whereas var char uses exactly as many characters as necessary exact over here exact as necessary to store a given value suppose you insert the string dodge into the fields okay d o d g e now char it will be right padded with five spaces depending on the size right padded okay right padded and with the var char there is no padding var char there is no padding so we see that the efficiency over here now var char character fields save you disk space but don't be tempted to use var char fields for storing every string why because that has drawbacks two the mysql server processes char type fields much faster than var char this is fast this is not that fast okay this is fast because the length is predetermined the length is pre known okay that is why it's fast var char takes a more disk space because it has to store the length of each string in one or two additional bytes so over here in var char okay in var char we have the actual data okay and then what we need to store is two bytes so what happens is that when you have millions of records 
when you have millions okay when you have millions then these things make a big difference i believe now you understand the difference over here things should be clear now using the indices now what happens is that the inexperienced developers they think that the database is running slow maybe they need to upgrade the database maybe they need to have hardware but that's why we have the indexes so when you search without the index you are literally looking across the entire database for the stuff which is of your interest but when you perform a search using an index okay what the index does it takes you directly in very less time to what you are interested in what you are looking for so that is the benefit of the index so now you have index on your choice of columns so somebody might think or might say that why not index the entire table well that not be feasible every time because uh, the contents or the the columns or the attributes on which you are searching in a table that might change over a period of time so that will not be very efficient and finally we have this special key which is the primary key which is the column which has not null values which has no repeating values so we perform we put an index over here why because we are searching for say for the account number for a certain person or the account number of a certain client so that's why we need to have this primary key over here it can be a combination of fields also it can be a combination but that combination has to be unique and of course there are pros and cons of indexing also pros i have already told you the cons are that the index takes space and of course the more uh, indexes you put on your system okay that will take more space and finally it can become an overkill if you have multiple indices then loading that indices will take time and slow the performance so that's all i have for this module